Welcome to my classes for the school year of 2023 to 2024. I am Mr. Over and I will be your teacher this school year. This is my 18th year teaching for the Antelope Valley Union High School District. I have previously taught at Eastside High School, Courtsville High School, and Soar High School, as well as teaching for nine years as an adjunct professor of mathematics, physics, engineering, and physical science at Antelope Valley College, and five years for the local mechanical engineering program offered through Cal State University Long Beach. I bring this up because I know what professors need from their incoming students, and I am here to help prepare your student with college and career readiness. In my classes, this looks like set deadlines of one week for assignments with a two week late period, focusing on understanding the material rather than focusing on grades because grades get you to college, but understanding course material keeps you there. Multiple forms of interpreting material, avid strategies, including interactive Cornell notes, and higher level thinking and questioning, along with original created content by me, making academic dishonesty more difficult and less successful, my classes have been described by students as rigorous. I thought I would take some time to review what 100 students shared with me at the end of last school year. The survey was anonymous and did not collect emails to allow for honest reflection. I can't be a better teacher every year without honest feedback. First, let's look at self-perceived work ethic over the year in my class. The four main takeaways the students shared is that they learned the importance of understanding the material for themselves. They learned to stay more on task and on schedule. They learned how to take better and more meaningful notes and they figured out how to learn for themselves. Second, let's look at the reality of having a week to work on assignments, followed by a two week late window after which the assignment locks out. 78% of students felt that three weeks is very much fair. And they felt that this was a case because it forces them to stay on track and to stay focused and it helps push them along in the process. Here is some of the advice last year's students have for this year's students. 90% said, take your notes very seriously and use them. Take all attempts on assignments seriously and don't rush. Understand the material. Don't fall behind, that's an understatement. Reporting on the self-perceived feeling that they have been prepared for college and career through this class, we see that 80% of students felt that that was the case. Concerning the tough reflection about their final grade in this course, this is the breakdown. We see that 86% of students felt that their grade was an accurate indicator of their performance and understanding of the material. Now, unfortunately, 86% of students did not pass the class. So we have students that didn't do well and that did fail. However, they felt that it was an accurate description of their understanding of the material. This 11%, if you ever fall into this category, please reach out to me. If you honestly disagree with the grade being a reflection of your understanding of the material, you need to reach out to me so that I can make appropriate adjustments to your grade based on your demonstrating understanding to me. I recognize that sometimes the assignments and the assessments are not complete indicators of what you do understand. And I am very open to try in different ways of seeing what you do understand. 3% disagreed and that's because they felt that just because they turn in work, they should be passing. So they might be still second elementary school mentality. I'm here to hold you accountable and prepare you for college and career. And about the expectations that Mr. Over has for students, we see the following. Remember, among these 100 students, not all of them passed, but they do feel that 
Mr. Over communicates regularly, is willing to help, expects students to understand the material, expects students to stay on schedule and on task, and gives necessary tools to be successful. So folks, this can be a great year. In general, and every week, students will do some type of preparatory work to learn the material through reading, simulations, videos, and or notes, and then proceed to some form of practice and or assessment. In most cases, assignments and assessments have multiple attempts. Be aware that assignment completion is tied to attendance. You are encouraged to stay in contact through email and the Remind app, as well as check your students' attendance and grades in PowerSchool. I've heard from so many students that Virtual Academy is such a wonderful opportunity, but that it can quickly become a disaster when students fall behind, don't work, give up, and give themselves over to electronic devices. Please help to facilitate and to encourage a learning environment for your student and to monitor PowerSchool and Remind. Wishing you a successful school year with new skills gained and achievements unlocked. Be good and be safe.